over two incredible nights, jazz musicians and fans from around the world gathered at Sandeep Chai Prakan Park on Pratit Road in Bangkok. We attended the Bangkok Jazz Night on Christmas Day evening and have the story here for you on iTravel Exclusives. The Bangkok Jazz Night Volume 2 took place December 25th and the 26th, a free event sponsored by the Tourism Authority of Thailand. The music wowed crowds as guests enjoyed two nights of lively music. Performances included renowned names such as Gore, Mr. Saxman, as well as both local and international favourites. Guests had the opportunity to enjoy different styles of jazz with performances at two different pavilions. The Santi Chai Prakan Park venue was the perfect location for two nights of swinging jazz. The event kicked off with an opening ceremony, including a welcome by Mr. Nopadon Park Prot, the executive director of the events department at the Tourism Authority of Thailand. We first caught up with Jonathan Fritzen, a jazz performer from Stockholm who developed a gift for music as a child. His debut solo albums include Lovebirds in 2008 and VIP in 2009, both of which spent 40 weeks on the top 50 of smoothjazz.com. My first time here and it was such a wonderful experience and we've been going back and going back. This is the fourth time here. We also had a chance to play a native Thai song from the northern parts of Thailand called Lana Sonata, which was very nice. But also playing with uh, Co. Mr. Saxman, who's a famous play musician here. And we've recorded, he's recorded on my record, but to play it live is a whole different thing. So that musical experience was very special, standing on stage and making it happen in the moment. So people are so warm hearted, so friendly here, and everybody just, it's just been like family. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to being Christmas Day, the next artist we met, Camilla Lundstedt, sang a Christmas song. Sweden and Thai people, at least in Sweden, they say that Thai people and Swedish people have a special connection. Many Swedes come here uh, every year. So for me to be invited to go to Thailand, I, I didn't have to think at all. I would just, just say yes. <laughs> The event also showcased numerous Thai artists and on the first night we ran into Violetta Vortia, better known as V, the local star who was a finalist on Thailand's The Voice television program. This is a great place to show what we got and to show people how like music can connect to people. So I think this is a great, great, great event for every musician. Like, we should have more events like this. Tell us, any New Year's resolutions? This is hard. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna clean my room. How about that? Both guests and artists alike had a lot of fun and it was another successful event for the Tourism Authority of Thailand and the audience couldn't agree more. I really like it. It's very beautiful. I like the lights and the music and um, I like all the information panels. It's my first day in Bangkok today. It's a nice event. It's um... It's cool to, to feel the, the jazz in Bangkok because it's the atmosphere here is great. With New Year's coming up, if you don't have any plans yet, be sure to attend Thailand Countdown 2016. Make your way down to the Temple of Dawn or Wat Arun for an unforgettable New Year's Eve countdown experience. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode of iTravel Exclusives. But before you go, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on our Facebook fan page and follow us on Twitter. Thanks so much for joining us here at iTravel Exclusives. Until next time, bye-bye.